Uh, it's been pretty fun, been pretty tiring. Uh, that's a word. But I've been real tired lately. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm soaking it all in, having fun, and just taking it day by day. Josh, where are you keeping all these oh. trophies? Chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> you said what? Where, where are you keeping all these trophies at? I don't know. We gotta. I gotta get one. I think one just got here. And then the Gersky one. So I'm gonna see why I put that in my house. And then. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna stack them in a pile for right now and just go from there. So we should assume you do not presently own a trophy case, Josh? <laughs> I think I need to get one now. <laughs> but uh, those are pretty heavy trophies, though. So I'm probably not gonna fool with them. Probably just keep them in my living room for right now somewhere. Somewhere nice and sturdy to hold them up. Obviously, you had a really good year, but do you, are you even surprised by how many awards you've got? Uh, you know, like like I said in my intro to my you know, drivejoshallen.com website, this is what I came back for. You know, I came back to do things like this, and you know, right now it's paying off, and everything I said on there is coming true. So I just got to finish out the season. Josh, what was your thought process when you worked through the decision to play on the Uh, just finishing on my team. You know, finishing with my team. It was something I always, you know, stayed true to. I told myself in the beginning of the season I was going to play the whole season, and you know, matter of fact. I'm gonna fin finish and finish with my team and make history, you know, and break records and that's you know history I need to make and that's a record I need to break. So, you know, that it all came down to you know not just myself but for my team as well. James Franklin said he tried sliding into your DMs to get you to not play. Did you happen to read those at all? Or? I mean, I checked my Twitter and I ain't getting no messages. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we can question him about that. You know, but, you know, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. I saw the video. It was, it was pretty cool. You know, he's a great guy, great coach, and you know, he's done a lot of good things for his program. And, you know, I can't wait to play against him. He probably slid into the uh, Bills quarterback, Josh Allen, right? Anyways, <laughs> well, he probably did. <laughs> With, he probably uh, did. This season, the way going, how great it was. Um, and before the season, you know, you decided to come back and everything. Can you use this as kind of an example of saying, look, you don't always have to chase the money. You have another year in you because you can come back and yeah. Gra the grass can always be greener. You know, it can it can be a lot better. Like like yeah. yourself. Yeah, my you know everybody's different. Everybody has a different story. Everybody has a you know different life growing up. Uh, you know, in my, in my you know my instance, you know I you know I had a lot to play for. I had a lot to come back for. And you know, plus I'm gonna get better for myself. But you know, other guys may have a different reason of leaving or coming back. You know, I, I can't judge why somebody should come back. You know, I can just only give my input. But, uh, you know, if, if, if you're still in this cycle of what you want to do, you know, then you can look at my story and say, okay, he did it the right way. Uh, he came back and did this and did that. So maybe I can do that. Or maybe, you know, somebody had the, was on top their junior, sophomore year, their freshman year, and then, you know, don't have nothing else to, you know, what else they're going to achieve from college. And then maybe it's their time to go. So. You know, everybody's different. I mean, everybody has a purpose. Are you thinking at all about how uh, this game could affect your draft stock? Hmm? Are you at all thinking about um, how this bowl game could affect your NFL draft stock? I mean, film. My film speaks for itself. Uh, I had, you know, twelve games, fifteen games before. You know, 12, whatever the number is. Amount of games the season. You know, we saw. You know, so everybody knows what type of player they get from me. You know, this is just another game that's gonna. You know. That I can put out, you know, to scouts and NFL teams that I can, you know, play against. Uh, we're playing against a real good team. Um, you know, can make a break, I guess. What about Penn State's offense stands out to you on film? Oh man, in the backfield, uh, number, four, number twenty-four, that running back, and and Trace McSorley, uh, you know, them two. Uh, I like to find the watch. Uh, they're good, you know, they're fun to watch. You know, just watching them, uh, they make a lot of great plays on their feet. Uh, number one as a receiver, he's you know he's really fast, he's quick with his feet, and he makes good plays, he makes big plays. And you know I just you know they're a real dynamic team. They do a lot of good things. Uh, make sure they, yeah, <laughs> make sure they, uh, he takes over at game. So man, it's nothing but respect for them guys. And I can't look. I'm waiting for the uh, and I can't wait to play against. Them. <laughs> what would what would a win to end your career on the line? What would that mean to you? Uh, ten and three. Uh, not a lot of teams from Kentucky can say that. Uh, now a lot of teams said they won a bowl game, so you know, here to break a record and you know, 
to stand by that, and that's you know something that we're here to do. Was there a game this season where you kind of saw the potential? I mean, where you saw that you could get that kind of attention and this team could have that kind of success? Um, I'll say, you know, the Florida game. It was, you know, I made a lot of good plays, but I was still, they were still, I was, I feel like I was still developing as a player. And then the Mississippi State game. That's when I was like, okay, I could probably do something with this. And then the South Carolina game, I was just like, you know, like, you know, let me play my role and be that guy. That's when I realized, okay, you can be that guy. And then it's just more fun. Jordan, Jordan Jones not playing. What have you guys seen from Chris and DeAndre, and how confident did you, those guys will step up in the moment? I mean, you know, we played. You know, they've I've been in the game with them numerous times this season. And, you know, it's nothing. You know, it's just another body. You know, there. Everybody, I told you. That's what when you get to that's what you know. Our depth this year is is, is really looking good, and the ones can. You know, the twos can be the ones, and then the threes can be the twos. So it's like. Everybody can play, you know, those guys proving that they can play. So, you know, we just got to go back to keep the calls and play together. You're leaving some pretty big shoes to fill. Who are some guys that you're excited to see next year? Oh, man, there's a lot of guys. I'm ready for Book to step up, try to get double digits next year. Uh, Jordan Wright, you know, he has a lot of shoes to fill. Josh Pascal. Plus, we got a lot of young guys, you know, freshmen come in. That's, you know, that's talking about, you know, that they're going to play. Jared Casey, J.J. Weaver. You know, guys like that, Shaquille, you know, it's just a lot of guys, you know, it's coming in next year. You know, I'm assuming that's going to play, but has to work for it, you know, because nothing's given. And I'm um, just ready to, you know, to watch the process and see them be great. With your procession through the postseason awards, all that visibility on national television, how much do you think that kind of exposure helps with, you know, guys in high school right now yeah. looking, looking at that and thinking that might be a place for me to go? I mean, you know, I, I, everything I do, I do it for my teammates, I do it for the program. And, and, you know, it's just out here having fun. Maybe it could help, you know, I don't know. Hopefully it does. Hopefully you get a couple of things back. <laughs> Hello, Ronald. Joshua, well, I was talking to Coach White recently, and he was saying that he likes to get into the drills with you guys and, like, top of the top drill, a couple of drill, different drills, and he gets pretty beat up. Do you guys sort of take it out on him or mess with him? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, if, if you want to get in, I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm going as hard as I can on him, you know, so I ain't going to, he told us no hold nothing back when we play, so I'm not going to hold nothing back on him. He knows the consequences. He's been in the NFL. <laughs> you know, I bet you, I doubt we go as hard as they do, but I'm going to try. Uh, but yeah, Coach White, he's in every drill, you know, he's, uh, he's participating in everything. You know, he doesn't just let other guys do, be the tackle dummy. He's he's in there every drill and, you know, show nothing but respect for that man. You know, I was just thankful that he came here. Is he he's strong for an old dude, or is he? Oh, yeah, he, he's a tough one. Yeah. He done got hit a couple times on some, you know. He, he, he's a tough one. Tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> how what much has he has helped your development this year? Huh? How, how much do you think he has helped you yeah, develop in the kind of player you've done? Uh, he's, you know, he's been, you know, he's been a big key in my success this year. Uh, just teaching me, you know, just a little things about pass rush, about pass rushing, and. Uh, just a little thing about drops. He's just been, you know, so fundamental in, in my key to success this year. All right, what are you asking Santa for for Christmas? Big one. <sighs> what am I asking Santa for? I'm not a guy that likes gifts for it. You know what I mean? I don't do gifts, but I'll take a, I'll take a Billy truck. <laughs> so Santa, if you've seen it, give me a Billy truck. <laughs> <laughs> What are you getting your son for Christmas? Oh my God, he's getting, he's got everything. Uh, for God, he's not gonna remember none of this. <laughs> but, but right now, he has literally every toy. You know, we get him books so he can learn. He's he's starting to do new tricks and stuff. He his thing. We might get him a toy vacuum. He likes getting a vacuum and just vacuuming the ground. Like, <laughs> we don't know. But it's, it's, a, it's you know he helps out a lot. So a vacuum in, so. Uh, so we'll probably get him a vacuum. Toy. He can have a real vacuum and it can help out. He does that one. He, he does it. So, you know, it's too big for him. It's hitting the head. Everybody good? I think Coach Stoops mentioned that you were getting some texts from a lot of different guys and you're winning all those awards. Did anybody reach out that kind of surprised you or like maybe said, wow, this person you know knows who I am or something along those lines? Uh, like Khalil Mack, uh, 
you know, I talked to him a couple times, and he's he's uh, he's given me a lot of advice and been real. He's been you know real big key on my you know my development as a player, and he's just been telling me a lot of good things. And you know, I'm, especially I'm gonna use that advice all the time because what he's done in the NFL is just remarkable, and I want to get to that point as well too. All right.